Docker. You may have heard someone say, just run it in Docker, or let's Dockerize this app. But what is Docker and what problem does it actually solve? Let's say you've built an app and it runs perfectly on your machine, but when someone else goes to try and run it, it breaks. That's usually caused by your setup being different to theirs. So this could include your operating system, your dependencies, and any packages you may have used. Well, this is what Docker fixes. Instead of running your app directly on your machine, you can run it in these Docker containers, which has its own files, settings, and environment. A container is like a lightweight mini computer, but it's way faster than a virtual machine. The reason why it's faster than a virtual machine is because virtual Virtual machines run a full operating system for each app. Containers on the other hand share the host's operating system and just packages the app and its dependencies. This makes it just lighter and faster to use. And these are controlled by something called a Docker image. And that image is kind of like a blueprint for your app so you can send it to someone and it will run exactly in the same way. And that's a big reason why developers love Docker. It makes setup ridiculously easy instead of having to download all the dependencies of a app or a code base you can just run one docker command and it's ready to go. It keeps your environment consistent and also it's great for deployment because you can take that docker container and put it onto the cloud. It's perfect for testing and you don't have to mess up your machine because it's all contained within this Docker container. So next time you hear someone say Dockerize it, you know they want to put it into a little sealed container so it's really easy to run on multiple machines. If you're a beginner software developer, I have a whole series for you full of two minute explainers. So go check out that playlist. But other than that, I'll see you next time where it's complete, completely, <coughs> Excuse me, do you mind?